In this video we will show you how to fix a Galaxy S21 that's stuck on a black screen of death. The black screen of death issue may occur every now and then even on premium phones like the Galaxy S21 but it does not necessarily mean it's serious. Most of the time it's just due to a pretty minor firmware related problem that you can fix on your own. With that being said here's what you should do about it. First solution force restart your phone. If your Galaxy S21 shut down and would no longer respond for no apparent reason then it's probably just due to a firmware crash. There are times when Android just stops working and may leave an impression that your phone has a hardware problem because it would no longer power on. But don't worry such an issue can be fixed. What you need to do is to force restart, here's how it's done. Press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds. This often forces an Android device to boot up. If the logo shows, release both keys and allow your device to continue the boot process. If you can make the logo show, then the problem is fixed. However, if your Galaxy S21 remains to be unresponsive, then you have to do the next solution. Second solution, charge your phone and do the force restart. What you have to do next if the first solution fails is to charge your device for a few minutes and then do the force restart while it's connected to the charger. It's possible that the battery was completely drained and that the firmware crashed just before the device shut down so plug the power adapter to a working electrical outlet. Using the original charging cable connect your Galaxy S21 to the charger. Regardless of whether the charging sign shows or not, leave it connected to the charger for at least 10 minutes. After that and while your phone is still connected to the power adapter, press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds. Let go of the keys if the logo shows. As long as this problem is due to a firmware crash caused by a drain battery or anything else it should boot up successfully after doing either of the solutions. However if your Galaxy S21 is still not responding after this then it's time to have it checked because the problem can be with the hardware. Thanks for watching. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.